Welcome back, Triple in Marble Hay. And for this video, we're gonna explore here at Thoxton Plain Park. So let's go, let's enjoy. So we, I drop by at around at Nell Rose, so we go in there and let's go here. Here at Nell Road. And this is a chic shack around here. So let's go this way. garden over there so let's see if we can go in that side so let's explore Nell Road muna guys this is the working capital Shake Shack is here in this area let's turn Fast-paced modern business and a veritable collection of heritage buildings. Duxton Plain Park established well before World War II. Duxton Plain Park is one of the railroads served for the line to Pulau Saigon on the south of the Singapore River. Previously known as Duxton Plain Parkway, it had loans, benches, shady trees and small playgrounds separated from the noise of vehicular traffic so that's how it looks like last time so now let's explore here guys this is shadow and sun shadow and sun gels have you ever noticed that our shadow on the floor looks very long in the late afternoon and looks looks very short at other times of the day or how the shadow or a tree or a building seems to move throughout the day. These shadow are caused by sunlight. The size and position of a shadow depend on the sun which appears to move across the sky throughout the day. We can tell the time through shadows and light by using the sundial. History of sundial this the sundial sun Dial is one of the oldest scientific instruments that was invented to measure the time before clocks were created. People had to guess what time of day it was based on the sun's position in the sky. The sun moves across the sky in certain patterns every day, rising in the east and setting in the west. 
people later notice the movement of shadows on the ground follow the movement of the sun and this lead to the invention of a sundial. A sundial is basically a shadow clock. It shows the time through shadows. Many sundials are made with a base and a part called gonomon to to show the time. When the sun is shining, we can tell the time by looking at where the Gonamon's shadow falls on the base by telling the time using a sundial sun beside this sign. So this is how guys. Oh wow, so this is it. Oh. Make your own sign. As long as there is a sunlight shining into your home, you can use a simple sundial to tell the time. Make one by fixing a stick upright in the middle of a paper plate please this set up Annually memorial tree and tribute beads. This Timbosu tree was planted by Prime Minister Lee Sin Long and Tanjong Pagar members of Parliament on April 25, 2015, in a memory of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, a tall, imposing tree with heavy flowering of strong fragrance and fruits of red berries. The Timbosu reflects the strength and vitality of Singapore. The memorial beads encircling this plaque were handmade from polymer clay incorporating petals from the flower tributes given by Singapore during the national mourning period 23rd to 29 March 2015. So look at this guys. It's actually the beads.
this there you go. Tree. Indian grabber. The Indian grabber wants an economic plan in this region. It's likely to stop and proceed into Guta Rambong, a type of rubber of inferior quality after the introduction of the para rubber. Heavy Baselinis is the planting of Indian rubber and topping of its lady was should slowly phase out. This was because the rara rubber produced rubber of better quality and could be topped about six years after being planted, while the Indian rubber could only be topped about 15 years after it was planted.